Hi Aquarius, welcome to your mid-June reading. I am Charlene Lizette. If you're new, hi, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you click the subscribe button. If you are returning, a massive thank you to you for being a part of our Have Ad community. As always, I do need to give gratitude and adoration to my great queen, the Morgan, to whom all my work is devoted to. All right, Aquarius, let's see what what's the crook. Why are you doing these things? I don't know if you can hear Raven. She's like jumping back and forth, drop kicking the wall. Well, why are you doing that to the wall? She's drop kicking the wall and then running away. Justice. Nice, Aquarius. I like this. The Ace of Pentacles. Whoa. Does the universe ever have your back in June? Page of Pentacles. Damn. Four of Wands. Oh, my God. Back in. Bless you. And the Ace of Wow, and the Ace of Swords. Okay, for some of you, there's definitely um, something karmic here that's getting cleared. This is great. And the Ace of... Here comes the sun. La 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 la. Here comes the sun. Me. Me. Um. I'm a fucking embarrassment sometimes. Oh my god, bye, Shelly. Wow. For some of you, you've been working really hard for this Aquarius, okay? Yeah. You've had to do some battles. You've had to get real with yourself. You've had to have some serious conversations about how you are going to make this happen, how you are going to manifest this into being. For others of you, this is the universe having your back, Aquarius. Holy bananas. The fact that we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles does tell me that the opportunity for financial growth or financial expansion mid-June onward um, is really prevalent there. With the Ace of Swords, I feel like you're getting really clear cut, like the Mercury energy, the Gemini energy, uh, the air energy that is so uh, complementary to you, Aquarius, as a fellow air sign, um, is just really supporting you and expanding your financial abundance. The sun at the bottom of the sky, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Sagittarius and Jupiter. Jupiter might uh, be nicely positioned in your natal chart. Um, you know, we are in, um, well, Jupiter's, uh, I think, momentarily retrograde, but it is going to be going back into Pisces, and it sits nice in Pisces. Um, then we have uh, Mars, Aries. Yeah, I just feel like there's this awesome um, momentum moving forward here. You're, you're really determined, really like gung-ho, about um, being able to achieve your dreams. I also truly, truly feel like the universe has your back this month, Aquarius, and the universe is supporting you and being able to achieve those goals, those dreams, particularly, particularly around what's going to fulfill you, make you really happy on the career front and on the home front. Some of you might be signing some papers. Oh my God, itchy nose. Some of you might be signing some papers for a home, for a job, for a new career opportunity. Just be careful. Make sure you're not signing anything during Mercury retrograde. Um, for others of you, this is about the universe balancing the karmic scales, about the universe providing you with a lot of clarity, a lot of determination, uh, a lot of vigor, right? Maybe you have um, Aries or Mars and Leo, and we just moved into Mars and Leo, so there's like that propelment forward, like... The sky's the limit here. Whatever energy you put onto the universe, the universe is going to return back to you. Sagittarius here with Jupiter. Yeah, really pushing you forward. Raven's here. That's her butt. Um, patience. I accept that everything happens in divine timing or in divine order. Yeah, I really, honestly, I feel like the universe is like, okay, it's time to clear the scales. Let's give you this new beginning here. You know, it is the beginning of an opportunity, but if you continue to work hard, celebrate and enjoy the foundations, the good roots, um, and be in gratitude all the time, then good things will come to you. You just got to get clear about your intentions and about the direction that you're pushing this energy forward in, okay? Um, I think that's the most important thing to do, to do here. Okay. Do you have to come up to the table to do that? That was weird. Okay, cool. I mean, it is your birthday. It is your birthday. And Gemini. Yeah, it's your birthday, Gemini. Um, yeah, I think, like, I don't have much more to say about this. I just, I honestly feel like it's going to be a really, really good mid-month Aquarius. I think there's a lot to shine, a lot of happiness, a lot of good energy to be had. Um, you know, if I'm going to recommend any crystals for you. Why are you doing that? I know it's your birthday, and I know you can do what you want, but don't cause trouble while I'm doing readings. Love you. 
would be her cutie in the whole world. Oh, there's a meow because she's a meow having. Um, I think that if I was going to recommend any crystals for you, um, actually, I'll take it off my wrist. Um, it would definitely be crystals that are very uplifting, very happy, very jubilee, very hopeful. So blue lace agate, citrine, uh, definitely citrine, uh, rose quartz, uh, amethyst, aquamarine. And this new piece right here, it's very colorful. It's very beautiful and very fun. Um, it's called uh, Ishel, Um And it's just... It's meant to like help you vibrate higher, help you to have courage. Uh, all the crystals here um, have the energetic frequency to support that. So I would, um, you know, if you don't want to buy the bracelet, that's fine. But like you wear those crystals, they will support you 100%. There's some nice amethyst chunk right here. All right. Okay, so let's get into your love reading now, Aquarius. If you're interested in a private reading, either live or pre-recorded, take a look at the description box below to book with me. Okay, okay. And same if you want to shop Walmart Star Sea Jewels. Raven, your whole butt is in the way. At wedding. Oh, maybe some of you are getting married. Separation. Some of you might be getting separated. It almost feels like it's a two-way street, honestly. But look, that separation and codependency. Some of you might be getting a divorce. And be so fucking happy about it. And you're moving on with that Sagittarius energy, that Mars energy. Yeah, patience, divine timing. I mean, it could go both ways depending on what the scoop is, right? Maybe for some of you, um, this separation codependency doesn't doesn't really align because I am feeling like overall you're going to be very happy about this decision. For some of you, maybe you're like really happy about divorcing, separating. For others of you, you really just focus on bringing the sun into your life, being very happy, very uplifting. I feel like this message of separation and divorce is just for some of you. Yeah, because we have the moon, the queen of pentacles. Stop, ma'am. And the Queen of Cups. Yeah, I feel like for some of you, you are moving on with that fool here. Okay, but for the majority of you, I feel like it's like you've gotten very grounded in what you're wanting to attract. And the moon and codependency, you faced your fears. You faced the energy. You face the energy that has kept you um, like codependent, stagnant, um, limited, etc. And you're moving on to this energy of like attracting a wedding happiness, love, a divine partner. Um, and that's pretty friggin' spectacular, right? Isn't it? Yeah. I mean, that's all, that's all she said. That's all she wrote. Um, I do see here lots of love, lots of, um, joyous moments to be had here, regardless of your, regardless of your situation. Um, I think it's more or less about you and your own fulfillment and your own happiness, Aquarius. All right. Thank you so much for watching Aquarius. If you're interested in booking a live one hour reading with me or shopping over at Starseed Jewels, take a look at the description box below. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.